I hope that you will consider me. Do you have him? Who? As a responsible and moral guardian for your son. They've taken Jericho. I'm so fascinated and, and like in love with season two's ability to expand the world of the show without like, you know, we're still not really leaving the Turner's <laughs> house, which I, I just think is brilliant. And I wondered if you could talk about that kind of in terms of approaching this season, you know, as, as storytellers, is, is that a springboard for creativity, knowing that you have these confines in some way? You know, I don't think anybody took me seriously when I said that we're never leaving the house for the <laughs> entire show. I think they thought that was really funny and they were like, oh, he's really funny. And I was like, <laughs> and then I did the, the pilot was the all, wow, that was all in the house. And then four episodes in, they're like, wow, you really haven't left the house. And then the whole first season, you haven't left the house. And then I think Apple, when they got the first script season two, they were like, wait, are you not leaving the house? And I was like, yeah, we're never leaving the house. That's, <laughs> that's a, but I, I find it very exciting. I don't find it confining at all. In fact, I find that liberating to uh, make you guys imagine what's outside mm -hmm. and imagine the world around. Uh, and uh, I've chosen to expand each season. What we call the house will expand. So in, in season two, uh, you see, for example, another part of the house that you've mm -hmm. never seen before. Uh, and and uh, season three, you're going to see another whole thing that you didn't realize and we can expand that way. I love that. What a tease too. And I also <laughs> like how we're kind of using this whole, in a way we're using the like, what we know as the found footage genre to kind of show us outside the world, but it's yes. still within the lens of. <laughs> yeah, oh, and, I, and I tell the directors when they come in, when you're shooting the, the, the things that are happening outside the house, I want you to get the biggest vistas, any, the biggest, <laughs> most cinematic things, and then shoot it on an iPhone and make it so that we're, we can only see it through this small thing. So you're just tortured because you're, you're like, oh my gosh, there's that whole cemetery and there's that whole stadium and, and we're not getting to go there. Something that in, in my mind kind of helps make the show feel very full and rich is the use of food. And I'm so mm. obsessed with the role it plays throughout, you know, both of these seasons, certainly in some big ways in season two with pizza and cake. Yes. Um, what does food kind of broadly represent within the show? Why is it so important to you? I know that there was like a food consultant on set as well. Yeah, we have we have a chef on staff and consultants. And it's funny. I don't think that Tony and I fully understood <laughs> its power when we started. I think Tony was uh, trained as a chef and he put it in and, and it did it instinctually as a great writer does. But as I started to shoot it, and as I started to talk to the directors, and as I started to talk to the other writers about um, what does food mean in the show, it became not only the ritual of the family, of all of our families, it's how we connect or how we have show dysfunction. Um, it, it's, it, it's an act of creation and an act of destruction and you know <laughs> things getting killed and mutilated and, and uh, torn apart. And, so you can show all these kind of metaphoric ideas of violence and things. And, and in general, the show is about this, this kind of hedonistic life of this family that's a very wealthy family in Philadelphia and how they're not dealing with their emotions. And, and yet they're using all this, this clothing and these parties and the wine and the food to cover it all up. I can feel the dark thing in me getting bigger. This is too far. Nothing is too far. I hope that you will consider me as a responsible and moral guardian for your son. 